Welcome to the show. I got a different couch potato with me this time. Hi, I'm Jason. No Matt for ever, I guess. What, grade three? Okay, this is boring. I'm taking the mic over here. Oh, I'm trying to introduce <laughs> myself. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I have no idea how long we've known each other. <laughs> but I decided since he was down, it'd be a good chance to record something. Yes, and this is Resident Evil 7. Apparently, I'm handcuffed. You're tied. Tied, okay. This is the demo they released at E3. Uh, this is not going to be exactly what's in the final game, but it will be this kind of idea, so. Dude almost cut my wrist with his bloody machete. He did a bit. So, you haven't seen anything of this yet? No. Okay. All, all I've heard is that it exists. Okay, okay. So, this will be interesting. Okay, that's good. That's for the best. Well, the logo's pretty. You know, classic. The Havoc thing always reminds me. When I worked at EB, this kid came in and thought that every game that had Havoc on it had to be bad. Because he had played one game that had it listed on it. I was trying to explain to him that it's a physics engine. <laughs> he just didn't, did not believe me. He's like, no, anything with this level you should not play. All oh. of them should go back. Oh, like, um... What was that company that had the rainbow logo? They were usually synonymous with bad games in some way on the Super Nintendo. LJN. Yeah, that's the one. But to be fair, they, they actually were bad. I mean, I mean, that's the reason, though, I think. Yes. Oh, okay, now I'm controlling. Okay. All right, so... First person perspective. So we did play a little bit of Resident Evil 2. Um, what are your takeaways for the differences? Uh, well, the graphics are significantly worse than this, I think. You really can't beat Fair point. the fact that this VCR here has the same polygon count, probably, as the entire main character of Leon in Resident Evil 2. Uh, X. I don't have a... Vi I I guess I don't. All right, fair you enough. You can't just play a ghost VCR. Well, apparently, I oh, I can't even play the piano. No, just reject. You need to up your piano skills first. I took piano class for a month before I gave up. That's pretty good. All right, so my fuse is missing. Yeah, I was just terrible. I was really terrible at the piano. I got, okay, empty. Wait, do I have a flashlight on my head or something? You know... Is that how this works? You know, I'm not entirely sure where this light source is coming from, to be honest. I think it's... It might be a camera. It could be a camera. I'm not 100% sure, though. Oh, I got it something. I shall dash them against the stones. All right. Wait, it says rotate. What's on the back? Uh, nothing? Maybe? No. I... I don't think there's anything. No. It's because I always remember in Resident Evil 1, there's this spot where you have to actually examine the object and open the book. Oh, and yeah, And there's yeah. an item inside, and I missed that for way too long. Uh, it's like playing Metal Gear 1, and I'd totally forgotten that the one... Codec is on the back of the case. It literally Mer means check the CD case. Merrill's codec, I think yeah. it is. It was either Merrill or Oticon. I can't remember which one. But yeah, that was that was dastardly that they did that. Um, when you're playing a copy that you had borrowed from your sister after, you know, giving her yours years ago, and she gives it back with a CD case, it makes it a little difficult. Um, wait, no, I, I never gave it to her. I think he just forgot to give it back for one. No, I don't think I even own that anymore. Which I kind of feel bad about. It's classic, but it doesn't hold up. I haven't played it recently enough to even compare. Oh, it's just the... Like, the game is still good, but the camera makes it difficult to aim. Because a lot of the enemies are coming in off-screen. Yeah. Which is slightly counterintuitive for what you want to do. But at the same time, I played the GameCube one, the Twin Snakes. And that one made it way too easy. Uh, sweet fridge. Let's get 
break this open, have myself uh, rotten food. I'm thinking there's a, like, that's got to be somebody's head. I think they're uh, just slabs of meat. Yeah, you well, always want to get a better view when you find this in the fridge. Yeah. I'm ducky. I like it. Yeah, get spaghetti. Spaghetti. Who keeps spaghetti in the fridge in a box? It's it's a frozen package, I think. Like a microwavable one. Speaking of, check the oh. microwave. Oh, great. I think you've explored the fridge to all of its capacity. That's something. I think it's a crow or a bird or something. Maybe. He's got a beak. Oh, it does. It's all shiny. Is that like a graphics thing? I think it's just the way the engine works. Huh. Well, that's what I get for not having a PS4. I'm still stuck in PS3 level. Or as we just found out from the last few things, you know, 1997. Yeah. Well, that was not exciting. Although they shift kind of funky. Oh, <laughs> yummy. This isn't a very nice house. It's a fixer-upper. I think that's the technical term. I think it's more like this needs to be condemned. Yeah. I mean, you have... Maybe some repairs on the... No. No, that's a bad roof. I feel like this is trying to be scary, but uh, it's not working all that well. Well, nothing's really happened yet. You're just walking through a house. I walk through my house all the time and I'm not scared. For the most part. I was gonna say, you're just not doing it right. You know, if you're not setting death traps for yourself, then you don't have the reason to be scared that you should. Possibly. That's also a different game. Actually, I played that game, Deception, on the PS1. Oh. I was terrible at that game. Okay, I didn't. I wasn't, I wasn't picking up what you were putting down there. No, I just realized it. It wasn't like a thing I was going for. Uh, everything's shiny. I feel like that should be creepy, but it's... Oh. That's just shit a baby from the ceiling. Jesus. Yeah, I don't know where that came from. That, like, do you mean... You don't know, or is in like that's the first time that's happened? Like, it's I not part literally of have no. I've seen it before. I okay. literally have no idea where it came from. Because I I played it a second time and watched for it, and it just comes out of nowhere. So is that like half a cow? I think so. Yeah, there's the spine, and that's probably where the head should have been. I'm pretty sure it's half. It's half of something. That's the important part of this. Actually, I think it's. I think that's a slice out of the center, and then like that's the two sides. Man, that's it's actually just kind it's of three halves. Up. It's three halves of one cow. I think that's that's a, a, I technically think it's a third. Then no, three halves. <laughs> I want the key, but I don't want to have to do anything again. That's going to be a problem. I don't know. I got that bolt cutter. I should be able to just smash through the window. Damn straight. Alright. Sweet. VHS tape. I do feel like it needs to be a VHS tape, though, because if it was a DVD, somehow it would seem wrong. Like, just horribly out of place. Or a Blu-ray. <laughs> somehow someone takes the time to record this kind of a place in high-def video. Um... What, just doesn't work. What if it's like an HD DVD? Those that you know, temper that five week pro, uh, project they tried out and didn't work. Uh, Go play the tape. What are you doing? Oh, get a tape now. Well, I, just... I was gonna explore. Oh, oh yeah, I'll go back. I mean, you can explore, but get a tape now. Is the VHS player in here. There's a TV. You commented on it. I know, but I don't remember where I'm going. This is one of the reasons why I'm not particularly good at games. Wait, I just bolt tried the cutter bolt cutter on the VCR. Perfect. Well, to be fair, what I get it, it takes up two spaces, but that seems silly. 
just going this back is and just, forth. This is just a hat. This is just ridiculous. Oh, they even... They put a label thing on it? Why would you do that? That's a semi-professional, I guess. Ooh. Did you find this guy? Give me a break, Pete. Hey, hey. I only work with professionals. Speaking of which, make sure the sound is right this time. I don't want a repeat of Amarillo. That was two fucking years ago. I don't do ADR. Huh. You are controlling this. What? Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I was gonna... Get back here! I'm a terrible cameraman. I was going to wait to see how long it was, but I saw you lean back in a comfortable position. Like, yeah, he's not picking it up anytime soon. Just like we always do. All right, well, I'm just going to go ahead of them. You really are a terrible cameraman. Hi, guys. He's eating his lamp. Why are you doing that with your flashlight, man? You call a flashlight a lamp? Fucked up the words. Like, if you called it a torch, I could have understood it like a British thing, but... Open door. Hey, at least I called the door by the right name. Are we rolling? I would have been concerned had yeah, you called go. it anything else. Open up house entrance. <laughs> well, you technically know. accurate, but still stupid. This wood slab is not moving. It's locked. Yeah, I, I know I shouldn't, but I kind of like the the moths. It seems silly, but it's a well done so, little why are we in hell this little time? feature. Have you ever prepped? What's the prep? Shitty house, spooky sound. Ooh, is it haunted? <laughs> That's pretty much what we were saying. Like, close. Fuck me. I was an anchor, you know. We can sub, Pete. Not anchor. What's that? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, uh, they're dicks to each other. What's the story, Andre? So does that mean they're good friends or they're terrible friends? In my experience, good friends, because that's what you guys always did. So I'm gonna go based off that. Oh, oh. Three years. Wait, how is that locked? With the chain, if I got the tape out of it. Think. Think about this one for a second. What? You didn't record this in the future. A lot of bad rumors about their son. I know this is recorded in the past. So did somebody? Hence, it had to have been locked up. No, but I, that's where I got the VHS tape from. Yeah. That I'm recording right now. Yes. It was locked. Yeah. So and then they unlocked it and put the tape inside. And then chained it. Like, I cut it with a bulk. I guess I could have gotten an extra chain, but that just seems silly. I don't know. That. Wait. Is the food still terrible? Andre. Andre. Yep. There's no roaches. Well, that's good. That that is a bonus. And there's no papa roaches. Oh, that. Is... Okay, seriously, it took me a minute to remember uh, that guy existed. Hey, hey, hey! He's a lyrical wordsmith. Cut my life into pieces. This is my last result. Suffocation, no breathing. Come on now. Beethoven. Don't, don't give garbage. A shit if I catch myself bleeding, cut myself. Cut myself. Wait. Cut myself bleeding? Yeah. The whole point of cutting yourself is to bleed. Like, but he doesn't care if he does it. Oh, that's a good point. Alright. He's hardcore. Open the door. Andre! You know, I kind of like... I want to think that this guy's got a GoPro on his head right now. And that's where the light source is coming from. Either that or he's so much of a hipster that he wears like an old school mining helmet. With the light on it? No? Nothing, huh? Alright. Wow. We're well, just trying to oh. think of what the stupidest thing possible could be. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna rip the control away for a second because the way this is all PS4 recording, I don't have a crazy good setup. So I'm gonna have to edit this together and technical stuff, but you know, this is how it goes. Alright, new deal. We we find Andre and we go. I mean fuck this show. Sorry about that. Upside, nothing has happened. They opened the wall. Not a big deal. And ass. Night, yeah. Well, I mean, you gotta crouch down to get through there, I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was totally innocent. Well, don't point out the fact that... Jesus. 
Oh, I'm extra creepy. You first. Sure hey. Alright, cool. Not even hesitation. Yeah, I'll go down there. I don't care. Well, why would I hesitate? One guy went missing, but who cares? You know, he's just gonna go down there. I like ladders, apparently. Holy shit, this goes down far. That is way further than any basement should be. So, right now, he should be being eaten by it? monsters. Alright, more shiny. There's a guy, Blair Witching it. Yeah. Hi. Oh. Whoa. Well, that's bloody. I like the eyes. Oh, who's feet are those? Yours. Mine? Oh, You're God. the killer. I got murdered by my own feet. Doesn't sound so sinister. No. <laughs> that's... That is the worst idea for a horror movie. I had I had I had an old CRT which I guess you don't have to say old but um it was like going to hell like it was bad the tracking was terrible it would scroll up you could only see part of the video uh there was a trailer for the first X-Men movie and I was watching this thing on it, and a friend, Adam, who is actually the other one who does this show, asked me, you know, hey, what'd you see? I said, I saw their feet, which is literally all I saw throughout <laughs> the whole trailer. I just saw feet and, like, partial shins. It was still a good trailer, though. I still liked it. It's like, uh, I... It was the movie Cabin Fever. Eli when, Roth? You, yeah. When that first came out... My sister and I went to the theater to see it because, you know, the trailer made it look like the height of horror movies. It actually did. It really did look awesome. Uh, it turns out to be mediocre, but they played a trailer for a Halle Berry movie before it. and Don't they... say Catwoman. No, it was some... I forget what it was. Gothic? Oh. Something? Yeah, that sounds familiar. No. Creepy mannequins. My daughter... Oh, that moved. <laughs> well, that was actually kind of cool. That worked. All right. Um, that's got some Doctor Who level stuff going on. But that Halle Berry trailer, they put the wrong kind of lens on the camera for the projector. So Halle Berry was about two feet tall and six feet wide. <laughs> um, no, that's actually how she is. They fixed her up for the movie. <laughs> that is quite a special effect budget. <laughs> <laughs> they used the reverse lens to make her look like... Six feet tall and two two feet wide. <laughs> the best part is, though, I'm complaining. I can hear this other guy complain, who turns out to be my sister's film studies prop. And then all you hear is all these other people going like, I didn't know she was so short. <laughs> like, <laughs> how the fuck is that what you take away from this? Like, no. no. This is actually how tall she is, yes. So they just turned her into a fucking super fat hobbit. No. She. This affected everyone. This wasn't only Halle Berry, right? That would no, be it, creepy. It, it was everybody. Like, okay, but that, that would be especially creepy if it was only her. I think it was just funniest with her. Okay. Plus, I don't remember who else was in it. I just, I just remember short, fat Halle Berry. Okay. <laughs> that works. Alright, I feel like I'm probably going to wander around in here forever. And uh, never find anything. Because I need to get a key and I haven't found shit. Meat hooks. Okay. Um, try going back to... Oh, where is it? The the room you started in. Oh, God. All the way back there again. Wait. Nothing. Still nothing. There's a small keyhole. Great. Alright, I need to find more stuff. Uh, I'm just not being thorough enough, am I? Not partially. Uh, okay. I was going to say, if you check that fridge again, I'm going to slap you. There's already, we already know what's inside of that. You don't need to see it again. There's a spaghetti box and slabs of meat. Well, you got the makings of a horrific dinner. Or delicious, depending on, you know... Your level of comfort with horde. I'm thinking of if you add enough spices. Oh, dummy finger. Hey. Alright. 
And what spices are you adding to well, rotten meat to no, make it decent? I, I don't want to eat here. I don't know. No, no, no. I don't know, but I'm picturing the scene from Seinfeld when uh, George's dad was in the war and he was a cook. And he has PTSD from the fact that he overseasoned some foul meat and all the soldiers were throwing up. And he has flashbacks, and I was driving him crazy. Because Kramer wanted him to cook for a Jewish uh, banquet or something. Since he's a really good chef, but he had this one traumatic time. <laughs> and that's what that's what came into my mind. How do I not remember that episode? It's pretty good. You know, to be fair, I don't think I actually watched as much Seinfeld as I think I do. Like pretty, I think I did. It was a pretty good show. Was I remember um, Ugly Baby, Man Hand. Well, see, yeah, there's there's all uh, there's a close talker, there's the yeah. the low talker, there's uh, Joe DiMaggio, the psycho clown, uh, the perfect press. Yeah, that was Lois from the old Superman show, eh? Yeah, it was. Okay, Terry Hatcher. yeah, that's it. She was. Uh, she was also in James Bond. Yes, yeah, she was. <laughs> Along with. Uh, what was her name? Denise Christmas. Richards. Yeah, playing Doctor Christmas scientist. Jones. Yeah, yeah. That's what you think of when you see Denise Richards, scientist. Well, it is now. I mean, I mean it's unavoidable. She did cure AIDS. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, oh. There's a different movie. Wait, what? I'm trying to remember now because okay, wait. That mannequin finger you got. I actually don't know. I haven't actually tried this before, but try going to that that uh, drawer that was closed. Maybe the other end is a key. Maybe. Well, I could see that being game logic. All right. No. Uh, get your inventory. Oh. Okay. I guess Wait. you can't use it. Okay. Okay. Um. Here's what you do. I remember there was something back. You have to open up the. It does look like a key, though. Yeah. You have to open up the secret room again back in the main one. The, did I find a secret room? But you know when you snuck in and climbed down the ladder. Oh yeah, I don't remember any. Of okay, go back to the room with the TV. Oh god damn it! I'm bad at this. I'm just gonna go up here for a second and see if the mannequin will. Finger works on one of the mannequins. You want to? I want to see. If it, it doesn't can... have arms. Well, then it's just a stubby arm then as a replacement. All right. I don't know. I was just checking. They don't move again, do they? I don't know. Yeah, there's no way to show it. Well, I mean, that seems inappropriate. What I was about to say. Well, um, I apologize. This is a family-friendly show, right? No? No. Good. We're playing Resident Evil 7 demo about people being slaughtered. And you ask if it's a family friendly show? I don't know what kind of fucked up family you got. But then wouldn't. Okay. Yeah, the the fireplace. Go duck there. Now, over the right. Oh, right, there you go. So this is what happens when you don't pay attention to what you're doing at all. That does hurt. And you just fuck around the whole time. Okay, I'll spin around. Do a little spin on the catwalk and go back over there. You have to duck again too, but... Hello. Now go to the left. On the table. Hooray! It's not there? Oh, okay. Alright, your memory sucks too. That's great. Alright. Wait, maybe it's not... Go back down. Oh, wait, you can't go down. Oh, cockroaches. There's something over by the hole, I think. Yeah, there you go. Hey, I got a key. You got the key for the back door. You're free. Well, where's the fun in that? Let's go die. Yeah, you, well... Let's go down. You have to ladder. do... You have to... You have to... You have to go that way. Ah. Never been so disappointed to not die. It's a weird thing to say. Wait... Oh no, I thought that was a mirror for a second. I wanted to see my GoPro. Oh, hello. Are you <laughs> going to murder me? He's gone. Aww. 
I don't quite know what that was. Open! Open! There's the other door that had the key. Well, now I just sound like my daughter when she wants to do anything. Just open! <laughs> oh, that sounds pleasant. You're fine. Alright, let's hurry to myself to my own death. Yay, ready. I feel like this game would be... Oh, there's some stuff getting knocked over. Who's throwing that? What were you going to say? You know, I don't remember. Cool. All right. <laughs> Continuity doesn't matter in this. Open door. <laughs> Welcome to the family, son. <laughs> really? Bill. Bill. <sighs> <sighs> We gotta get the hell out of here. Alright, so now I'm back. Come on. Oh, is this exactly like you seen that you have to do things differently each time? Uh kind of in a way. The okay. Well that ended fast. Okay, so that was that it? No, there is more to do. Uh, I suppose the question is: if you want to be a you want to be a, a a Gerard the completionist, or do you want to be a uh, Jason the giver upper? Uh, I mean. Yeah, I'm no completionist. I usually uh, just play until I'm done, and once the story's done, I say fuck it. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Fair enough. Like Skyrim. 80 hours was enough. I finished that story. I don't need to Oh, so we still rest. have plenty of time here, then. Yeah, I'm not staying here for 80 hours in the seat. Uh, no, you can get up, but like you want to play this for 80 hours, right? No. No, no. I don't know, like, I see that they're going for something new with it, which is cool. But there was something about PT that just freaked the crap out of you, even as there was somebody in the room making fun of it, or just saying ridiculous shit. Um, his name's Adam. Again, uh, he, the, he, other, the other co-host. The, co um, the other potato in this hot potato seat-switching thing of couch potatoes, if that makes any sense. No, I think the referencing of to us as uh, hot potatoes is a little odd. But I what get do you the mean? theme you're going for. What do you mean? Hot potatoes, like, sw switching, you have to... No, I, I know what you meant. I'm just saying it's, it's a strange anyway. choice. But this one just didn't have the same vibe. I think the fact that it ended up all, like... Texas Chainsaw, House on Haunted, or... House know. on Haunted Hill, kind of, or whatever, no, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. the, the Hill... The Hill have eyes. eyes. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Uh, okay. Well, if... It's a little if, lesser. If we're not gonna play this to completion, or at least close to, we're gonna wrap this up then, because... Oh, fair enough. Alright. Right. So that was Resident Evil 7, uh... Teaser, beginning hour, final hour. This hour is 22 minutes of evil... Well, that would make this way better, Rick Mercer. Just bust through the door. <laughs> and if anybody's watching this who's not from Canada, just go Google Rick, Rick Mercer, Mercer. And then right. have no idea what he's talking about because he's so Canadian. Okay. But yeah, that'll be it. Oh, yeah. All right. Thanks. All right. No problem.